Hi, I'm Sverio from Onet Plugins and today I'm about to show you uh, a new tutorial with our AutoGame Pro that it's an utility meant uh, to help you in automating uh, fader rides and volume changes for your tracks. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is how we can use it to uh, automate the gain rides you have to make for vocal basses uh, when you uh, make your mixes. I have a mix down of a rock track where, uh, we'll, um, where I will use the auto gain to save time in making the fader moves that uh, helps you, the vocals, to always stay on top of the music. So. I'm showing you the project, so I'll explain you how I set it up. I have used the Reaper here to, for this project. So what I did is uh, create different buses for the elements of the song. So I have uh, a bus for the drums, a uh, single track for the bass guitar, uh, another bus for uh, the guitars, uh, the keyboards and the vocals, and then I have uh, my reverb and delay. Um, what I did is to use uh, track folders to make those buses because uh, I get one fader that uh, I can use to adjust the overall level and it's much, much more handy than using uh, uh, sender and returns in my opinion. So for the same reason I took every single element of the music without the vocals and put everything inside a unique common music folder. Uh, in this way, I can, with just one send, I can uh, uh, prepare the reference uh, that the auto gain needs to uh, uh, compensate for the gain changes in the vocal track. So with a single send from this folder track here, I can give the reference auto gain needs. Uh, what uh, we are going to do now is to uh, open up the doc so I can show you how uh, we can, with this setup, uh, we can use uh, AutoGame Pro. So, I have my Vox track here, that is uh, my um, main uh, bus, vocal bus. So, uh, we'll take the AutoGame Pro plugin and uh, uh, I will set up, I will use uh, almost the, the default settings with an external sidechain and uh, uh, I will uh, uh, keep it in RMS mode and uh, I will only change the release time because I think that for vocals it's better to have linked attack and release time. So I will now set everything to 500 milliseconds because I, in my opinion, is a good compromise for vocal working. And uh, we'll go to my first, the first track that is my music folder, and uh, uh, from here. I will send, I will create a send that will go from track 1 and 2 for from the music bus, I mean my left and right channel, to 3, 4 on the receiving track, that is Vox here, because uh, the receiving track, uh, the 3, four, three and 4 tracks, uh, input, sorry, of the receiving track is my uh, sidechain that is linked to our external inputs, so I will uh, be able to provide the sidechain that the, the plugin needs to uh, compensate for the gain changes. So uh, now I'm going to put my headphones on so I, we can listen to how the plugin works. So here in Reaper you have seen that we have four different uh, VU meters. The first two are, are our left and right channel for the Vox bus and the three and four are the level of the sidechain. On the graph here you have seen that um, we were displaying the actual movement of the, um, of the gain, the changes, 
and um, with uh, this gain level knob here now I, I will adjust the overall level so uh, that the track is always at the same level because this is not right perfect Now, this is good, actually this is good, and uh, this should be uh, our final setting, but if we uh, wanted to, uh, for example, uh, uh, write the automation and then use this uh, automation to, for the main fader removing the plugin, we can do that by simply putting the plugin in write mode and then go to our box track here activate the automation for the auto game pro for the gain parameter and it's armed so we can record to it i will not use trim mode but i will use write mode so that the automation track here will respond to the movement of this graph so Pressing play right now will write the uh, automation the, of the um, game changes that AutoGame Pro makes. Now, have you, have you seen that the automation has been written here and for this to work, the interface of the plugin has to be open because uh, it's from the interface that the host receives uh, the automation data. And now we can, if we want, uh, I will set this to read, we can use the plugin to read back the automation setting it in read mode and the automation lane in read mode and uh, so we can save the CPU needed for the um, for the gain computing uh, we just read the automation parameter and apply the same gain we wrote earlier <laughs> But if we want to remove the plugin altogether, we can take all these automation points, select all points, copy them, and add them to a new automation for the volume. So we can put them here. Sorry. And we can paste, well, right now I pasted in the wrong location, but you get the point. So we can paste back the automation and uh, use the fader automation instead of the plugin one. So this is uh, pretty easy to use and uh, uh, we get very constant results. Uh, you can, uh, if you want, download the demo of the AutoGame Pro uh, from our website www.honeplugins.com and uh, if you have any suggestion or any other question, just write us. Thank you very much for watching the video.